Welcome to Music and Spirituality at Kardec Radio. My name is Jocka Daledon from London, UK. So today we're going to be talking about a chapter from the book Nosola or Astral City. In the chapter entitled In the Fields of Music, chapter 45, if I'm not mistaken, um, Andre Luis is invited to go to this place where they, they perform music. There are different stages where different music, di different styles or different kinds kinds of music are being played. And um, Lysias invites Andre Luis because um, he believes that he needs uh, some time off to relax. So he invited to go to this place and it's very interesting how they describe the place and the different music that they are performing, uh, performed at this place. I'm gonna read uh, an extract from the book and then we, we do comment upon it. At that moment, we reached the entrance, where Lysias kindly got our tickets. Once, once inside, I noticed a large group of people standing around a graceful gazebo, where a small orchestra was playing light music. Flower border paths extended in several directions before us, leading to the interior of the park. Observing my admiration for the songs being played, my companion explained, at the outer edges of the field, there are certain artistic expressions that meet the personal taste of those who cannot yet understand divine music. But in the center, there is universal and sublime music, sanctified, sanctified art for excellence. So here we see, as I just said, the different kind of music being played. At around this park, there is um, music, let's say, um, music from, from our plane, from the physical plane, uh, earthly music, I would say. And at the center, they call this um, sublime music, a music which is more, more refined, more subtle. And perhaps I believe that we, when we are in the flesh, as incarnate spirits as we are, we might not be able to, to really perceive, understand and appreciate this kind of music. I think the physical body, physical bo the physical body kind of interferes here and impede us to really enjoy this kind of music. It's a spiritual music, I would say, and very interesting. But as, as, as I said before, the more we, we listen to good music here on earth, more our taste in, in music will be refined. And we know that music elevates us. That music uh, transport us to, to higher realms even. We feel really good after we listen and enjoy good music. Um, so let's, let's move on. Indeed, after we had walked down a few pleasant pathways, each flower seeming to possess its own kingdom. I began to hear a marvelous harmony filling the air. On earth, there are small groups that worship fine music, whereas the multitudes prefer popular music. Here, however, it was the opposite. The center of the field was crowded. I had already seen numerous gathering of people, gatherings of people in the colony. And I had felt in awe at the meeting that our ministry 
had dedicated to the government. But what I saw now exceeded everything that had astonished me to this point. See how interesting here. When the, um, he described this harmony, this marvelous harmony that fills the air. So it's like the music fills the whole environment, the whole ambience. And how, is, is, as, as he says, is the opposite. The good and the sublime music attract more people. He has a crowd of people in the center really enjoying this wonderful music because we know that in the spiritual world all our earthly uh, illusions of 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 you know um, seeking things of this of this uh, world our values and um, what we seek to our own happiness sometimes we we don't don't search for what, what is really important in our, in our lives we we get eluded deluded by by the distractions of this world but in the spiritual world everything is clear everything is visible and this clarity that the, the spirits have they want to progress as quick as they can so they don't want to waste their time listen to music who are not uh, who wouldn't um, elevate themselves uh, so they prefer more refined music so the popular music in the spiritual is this universal and sublime music and those who probably had just been disconnected and still enjoy the music of of our plane they have a space for them to listen to the music uh, earthly music or the music that we know I'm gonna just read a little bit more because there is a paragraph here really interesting it's more to the end of the chapter here we go deeply awed by the sublime music I heard Lysia say our musicians act in harmony to absorb rays of inspiration from the highest planes. And Earth's great composers are sometimes brought to spheres such as ours, where they receive melodic expressions. They then transmit them to human ears, adorning the themes received via their own genius. The universe, André, is full of beauty and sublimity. The eternal and shining spark of life has its origin in God. How wonderful. And how interesting here uh, we hear that the musicians and our, our great composers, or any composer in, in, on earth, is uh, as the inspiration comes from the, from the spiritual world, isn't it? As they explain here, they are transported to these high spheres and they listen to the music and they get to know this music and brought back um, glances, melodies that they, with their own genius, they transform and they interpret and they they make it in their own way using their own talent but we see the root and the source of this music being in the highest spheres so the great composers get this inspiration from above how wonderful and we know that in the in the spirits books the spirits book they, they tell us that uh, the spirits influence ourselves more than we can imagine. So, in the music, it wouldn't be different. Doctors are inspired by spiritual doctors. Any art, uh, artistic manifestation comes from the spiritual. So, musicians 
have been all the time inspired by great composers and the spiritual spiritual composers and we see um, even in biographies of the great composers I remember um, the biography of uh, Beethoven the, the, he, he describes this inspiration I think I've got let's see if I yes that's words of, of, of Beethoven music is a higher revelation than all wisdom and philosophy it's the wine of a new procreation and I am Bacchus who presses out this glorious wine for men and makes them drunk with the spirit this um, Beethoven own words and is in his by one of his biographies uh, and you see talking about the high revelation he talks about Bacchus which is mythology Greek mythology but we can see that that they are obviously being mediums of art of this uh, art form this wonderful art form which is music okay good and now I would like to play a really really nice um, piece of music called this one the composer is Camille something the melody is so pretty and beautiful obviously is not yet the sublime music but those composers as we heard have been inspired by the spiritual world <laughs> 